I noticed that the glitching got much worse. It's time for me to leave this body. Leave this body? What? <laughs> you just got here. Busy. Busy, no. Hello dear friends and welcome to Small Town Creative. My name is Michael Masters from the small town of Ovid, Michigan. I'm very excited to share episode number two with you. If you haven't seen episode one, you will have missed out on quite a bit of the story. Click the bar that pops up over here somewhere and join us back here when you're done. Here come the spoilers. Okay, in episode one, Michael was in dire need of a friend. I mean, this guy talked to a wooden doll that he handcrafted out of magical wood. So, he had his share of problems, but his imagination, along with the ingesting of a red Kool-Aid-looking substance, seemed to be the perfect recipe for a duplicate of himself to emerge. His new friend, who had a rather joyful demeanor, would be given the name Busy. Yeah, Busy Dizzy. <laughs> The greatest love I feel is many enough for two. If only he were real, I wouldn't be so alone. Everything was great. Busy was the greatest friend I could ever have imagined. He had this propensity for problem solving and was very good at it. Mm. Sure, he had a few glitches, but I think that's expected when one creature emerges as a duplicate of another <laughs> within the same time and space as his clone. Does anybody have any ore? I do. How many do you need? I need three, and I can trade. What? Happy to help. You've been happy to help this entire game. Get me a settlement, and that's game. Forget it. Okay. Over the next couple of days, I noticed that the glitching got much worse. It seemed as if every time Busy helped me hmm. solve some dilemma, his health would decrease. Okay. Also, he began to age very quickly. Something was missing, and we were running out of time. There must be something I could do. So we pulled together the best minds we could, and entered into the most intense brainstorm session to consider ways that we could save Busy once and for all. We knew that it was Michael's dilemma to find true friendship, coupled with imagination, that brought Busy into our world. But imagination alone couldn't sustain him. Hey Busy, what are you up to? Evie, it's almost time for me to go. It's impossible for Michael and I both to inhabit the same universe while in this vessel. It's too unstable. Oh. But there just might be another way. fun while it lasted. No! I can't solve my creative dilemmas without you! I need you! You never needed me. The answers were always within you. I still don't want you to go. Here, take this in remembrance of me. And know that I'll never leave your side. <laughs> what does that even mean? You'll see. See what? Busy! Busy, no! <laughs> no. 